2084. All right. Let's play. Lost to a 2100 earlier, which is why my rating went down. And we get a Carl Kahn. So I kind of, I looked at the two knights variation the other day. And I think I want to try that. So the two knights attack. Let's see if we can get an attack. So he offers the knight trade immediately. And I think I can go here. Maybe do I... I can't remember the exact line. Actually, I could go here. That doesn't do anything. I think knight g5. I could also go knight g3. Let's go knight g5. I think that's the more testing line, if I remember correctly. See if my opponent can refute, refute this line and see if I can actually remember it. So yeah, just been playing a lot of bad chess lately. So give me a break if I throw this game also. Do I have this immediately? No. For some reason, I feel like the bishop out is not a good move. I'm going to apply pressure to this diagonal. And I think there's some tricks here, potentially. I'm going to go queen e2. I'm giving up this pawn, but... I think there's some tricks on e6 if opponent isn't careful, but they're 2100 basically, so I'm sure they'll be able to see all this coming. Oh, I never did my introduction, I don't think. Welcome to day 224 on my journey to 2000 ELO. <laughs> I think I missed that completely. I'm so focused on getting a good game in. So yeah, I think I have some sacrifices here. I could probably do that. If I sack here, king takes, and then I check, king goes back. What if I check here, and then take here? Or I sack here, takes, 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 takes. King can't castle, queen just comes up. Looks kind of a little bit, I don't know, if I don't sack though, I'm not going to have a sacrifice. And I kind of want to just play aggressive and sacrifice. Like even if I lose this game, how cool um, to get the chance to attack a, a 2100 and see if they could withstand the pressure here. But let me calculate. So if knight takes f7, king takes f7. Other knight in. Check. King can't go here. They get forked. Well, takes. I also have this move. Potentially go for the bishop. Feels just a little bit too soon. I'm taking. I'm just going to try it. I just want to. And if I lose, I lose. Now, which sacrifice or which uh, check? I was looking at king g5 more seriously because I still have access to this e6 pawn with my queen. Interesting. h4 comes to mind. I also could take here. And then if bishop takes, I have bishop takes, and the king's looking kind of iffy. Or I have queen takes, and the king still looks kind of iffy. I like h4, though. What, is, what are black's threats here? He could go knight d5 to kind of shut down a few of my ideas here. I could also just play d3 to get the other bishop into the game. I like, I like h4, though. I'm going to take the pawn, actually. It was, it's the first move that came to mind. And I'm just going to trust my gut here. I don't know why. I think this is better. So now it's queen takes or bishop takes. And they both have upsides, I think. I think bishop takes makes a bit more sense. But queen takes. I'm going to go bishop takes. Just because I, I don't want my queen up here. I want to be able to go h4, h5, and potentially check the king further out into the open. And he can't really move this knight. So the goal is to go h4, h5, and then play d3 with check. And see if I can get this king further out into the open. I want to checkmate this 2100. Maybe he wants to play here, or he could even go h5 himself. I didn't think about that. Do I have this move though? Hitting this, hitting here. He goes h5. 
All right, so what about this move? He doesn't have this. He has this. But then I go check. King can only go here. Check. Or do I go check in the light square? King comes here. And then I think this is mate, unless he gives up the bishop. I think so. He might be able to take here and then like, ooh, but then I just take here and I'm fine. He could pin this bishop. That might be a decent idea, moving the rook and pinning the bishop, but then, oh, I guess I can't take there. I check. No, I can't take there. I castle. Oh, and I also have, like, if I can get the king onto a dark square, I have this, which is check. I think bishop takes f2 is pretty interesting, though. But also, queen or rook to e8, I think, is more testing, potentially, since I haven't castled. I think black has a couple ways out of the checkmate, the more I look at it. Because once the king moves off of the... Yeah, so I saw this line. I don't think it's as good. I think I just take the bishop. So I take the bishop, he checks, I take, he takes, and then he just gave back the piece, and we both have... I think he's looking to try not to get checkmated, but then what if I just move the king? Is that okay? If I move the king, maybe I still have something here. So if I just move the king... What does he have? The problem is if I, let me calculate. So if I go queen f5, let's say it was my move and I went queen f5 and the king goes to h6, right? I don't have queen g5. Or I mean, I, I could go queen g5. The king kind of runs up. And then if I play the bishop back, the king runs back. So if I go queen h5 and the king goes to h6 and then I play d3 checking the king he has he has g5 and then when I take the g5 pawn he has king g7 but what if I take the g5 pawn with the king the king can't go there he goes to h7 and then I check with the bishop and that's checkmate now let's look at the other line I take the bishop with the king. He checks with the knight on g4. I take the knight. He takes the bishop. Actually, hang on a minute. I take I take the bishop. He jumps the knight in. I take the knight. He takes the bishop. King or queen g5 check. No, 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 no. h5 check. King to f7. King f5. Or queen f5, check. The king can go back. Not really, check. That looks okay too, but if I don't take the bishop, I think I'm better. I'm not going to take the bishop, because I think I'm better if I don't. I don't see a good defense for the king. That's what he comes up with. Maybe I go here and then play d3. I'm going to do this, actually. I want to play d3 and potentially have some sort of attack, but I can't keep my king here, or my queen here, that's for sure. I actually think moving my king is a better idea. Moving the king feels better than moving the queen, because there's still a discovery if I keep the king there. I probably should have taken the bishop in hindsight and just been like a pawn up. With a weak, he had a, he would have a weaker king, but it looked too good to pass up. My bishop is still a monster. If I can get d3 in, I think I'm solid. This knight jumping in here does seem kind of daunting, though. I'll be honest about that. Because then his rook can come all the way down here. Queen has access to this square. If I have to move my queen off of that diagonal. So maybe if the knight jumps in, do I play queen e1? It's a weird move to have to play. I don't really want to come on this file, actually. This move seems pretty automatic, but yeah. Yeah, the problem is this move here. 
So I need to prevent that. So I think I need to come here with the queen. Yeah, and then he has this move. I go here. I can't let his queen... I can't let his queen on this diagonal, or it's going to be checkmate. And it may still be checkmate soon anyway. He has this move also. Doesn't seem as good though. Yeah, that kind of sucks because it's tempo. His knight can also... Well, it can't come there right now, but... The d4 square is crucial to defend. I might even play b3. b3, bishop b2. Am I good if I do that? I need to take the knight too. If I, the, the earliest opportunity is to snap that knight off the board. It's a, it's an argument. Well, not an argument. It's a matter of opinion whose king is actually safer. But I'm sure an engine knows whose king is safer, but I think both of our kings are pretty risky here. So if he goes rook f2, I just have bishop takes knight, and he can't take the bishop. Maybe rook f4 is a good move, but then I just go d3 to attack the rook. So if I take the knight and he checks here, I just go up, right? And then he doesn't have any other checks. Immediate oh, he does have this, actually. But then I just block. If I block, he has queen check here. Then I play this move, and then he's got rook here. No, his queen would be on this file, and his queen would come here. Queen blocks again. I think that's fine. I might be losing if I don't, or if I do this, but I'm going to try it. Wow. Okay. So he allows that. So do I just go queen here, queen e3? To try to force a queen trade. I could go first move that comes to mind is queen g3 to attack the pawn, defend the back rank, kind of. He has this move. Oh, what about this move though? That's a baller move. Does that really work though? Can I just take the pawn? Is there any danger for me? I don't know, it's risky. I need to get my bishop out. Clearly. I have a minute left. See how good this 2100 is at blitz. If I can just tuck my king over here, that'd be okay. I think. He can probably force a queen trade at some point with how weak my king is. If he goes queen here, I might even sack a pawn so I can get my bishop out. If he takes it, I'll put the bishop out. And then he's got to find another place for the queen. Probably takes b2. And then I... And potentially start it on the king. He could force a queen trade, but I have to do this, I think. I just need to make quick moves because I can't afford to dilly dally here. I might have to play b3 actually rather than d3 if he comes down here, especially like or um, gets a rook on the back rank. I mean, because then I can go here and protect the rook. Just trying to think of conceptual ideas here. If he takes here, I'm putting the bishop right here. And then I, I'll go rook f1. Rook c1 doesn't really do anything. I can attack the queen again. Take the queen or attack the queen. Oh, I can't attack the queen. He just takes my rook. Or takes my uh, bishop, I mean. Let's try to trade this rook off. I only have a minute. I don't think I stand a chance here, but we'll see. We will see. Interesting. I'm trying something. So I, I want him to take the pawn so then I can go bishop here. I didn't look at checks though. I didn't look at this pawn check to see if that was okay. So the idea is to skewer these two, these two pieces. Yeah, and then I take here, right? Oh crap, maybe I maybe I miscalculated this. I might have to take a rook. No, I don't want to fix this pawn structure. Uh, I'm probably being too greedy here, actually. I'm being way too greedy. Because he can get both of his rooks down here, I think. Maybe I'll just keep harassing, keep trying to trade a rook. He's only up a pawn, and I, I can go start collecting pawns, potentially. 
I can't get, let him get both rooks on the second rank, though. That's one thing I can't let happen. So I'm going to have to trade at least one rook. But then he gets another rook down here, and then I start going after his pawns. He starts going after mine. I wonder if he'd take a draw if I offered it. I might be tempted. Lose 13 points. I might offer just because I'm in low time. We'll see how much time he takes. Because I, I don't think I can actually win. I'll offer a draw. Maybe opponent's exhausted from how awesome I've been playing. Not really, but listen, if you want to start going grabbing pawns, that's okay with me. He declined to draw. It's all the psychology of chess, you know? I think trading was a mistake, actually. I'm now not sure if trading was a mistake. <laughs> Alright, so if I go rookie one, he just moves the king over. If I start bringing my king up, that might be a better choice. If he brings the rook down, maybe I just go rook here. Maybe it's better to check first to get my king off of that spot. See if he'll trade another rook where I'm getting a pawn. He doesn't want to trade rooks. I'll go here. Do I want to do that though? Here. Oh gosh, I almost timed out there. I have this. I have this check, protecting against his checks, potentially, his potential checks. And then I'm going to march my king up and try to checkmate this guy. My pawns and my rook and my king. And Can I leave this pawn, actually? I don't know if I can leave this pawn. I don't have time to think about it, though. I really don't. I think I might lose both of my pawns. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. He can just run to the corner, I think. He has lots of other pawns. Ah, no, that's, that loses the pawn. What am I doing? That loses the pawn. Oh, he doesn't take it. Interesting. He's kind of covering all the checks, though. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? I don't have any plans. Ah, I messed this up, I think. I think I had a draw somewhere. Hmm. Good move. Ah, oh, good game. Good game. My gosh. Interesting game, that's for sure. Interesting game. Terrible accuracy. I played a 62, opponent played a 72. So, let's see, it says no games are found. That doesn't make any sense. Queen e2, oh, queen e2 here. Yeah, this bishop move threw me off because I don't see. I, don't, I never learned this move. Bishop c4 is okay. Knight e5 was better, just double attacking f7 pawn. Okay, this is better again. That's a blunder because of the pawn, but I don't think that's smart to take that. So bringing the king out was a blunder. This is a miss. So what was the best move here? G4, D4. G4, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. Kind of just have to take the pawn now, huh? Bishop takes. Oh, bishop takes G4, no? Then you go F3. Okay, over here. Can king take this? Not really. Wow, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so the, the queen move that I found later was better there. Oh, I should have just taken the bishop, huh? So I was looking at this, and then I saw... I didn't look at queen e4 check. Kind of keeps the king out a little bit. I looked at all these checks, like I was like, oh, I guess that doesn't even work. King e4 check, king f7. D3. I'm sure rook e8, yeah. Probably rook. Oh, king g3. Insane. Very cool. But where do I go from there? If he checks me, I guess I take the pawn. My king's coming out in the open. Oh, if he checks me, I put my bishop, bishop here. King g8. I'm sure I got to get the bishop out now. Bishop g5. A to E1. Yeah, this is much better than what I had going on in the game. So I, I still think I'm okay. That's a good move. So king takes F2 is better. Just leaving my queen up there. Not letting him get his pawn up here. So I protected the... Yeah, that was a great move. And then, okay, so, oh, I could have protected that way. That was much better. I only moved my queen over here to give my king some breathing room, or to give my king some protection and to allow myself to guard e1, but this is a better way to do it. I did not even think of that. Queen g3 is okay, too. d4... I don't see how d4 is okay. King h2 is, is okay though. Okay, so why is d4 so important? What does d4 do that? E3 doesn't. Is there a reason to protect this square? Oh, I guess he did he did put his queen there later. It just avoids a queen trade. Into a worse end game potentially. That's some high level stuff though. Okay, giving up another pawn here was probably a bad. But I had no time. Just bringing the king up. For some reason, I thought that when I did this, his best move was to take, and I didn't think that would be good, but simply this. I needed to do that, yeah. The king move. I needed to be challenging this rook. So I had a check. It's a miss. Gotta go rook e1, but then the king just gets in, right? Like, how do I... King f7. And I check. And if king goes over to e6, I go behind him probably, right? No. Check. This seems bad. Like, I would never do this. Like, allowing his king just to come up the board like this seems really bad. This is more equal, though. I just, I, I just, I would never do that. And I, I, don't, I guess I don't know enough about endgames. But activating his king further just seems so bad. Like, I thought he, if he took here, I was fine. Like, I could hold this, potentially. He's got to worry about my pawns, so his king can't venture too far. 
And maybe I should have went. Rook, it says rook c4. Gotta get these pawns, I guess. Oh yeah, because if I go here and take this, then I can check here, potentially. Okay, so rook d6. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I, I just wanted to cover the checks. But it's not like it's that scary to be checked over here. Then I can just keep, start pushing my pawns. Ah, I just needed to take the pawns. Hmm. I was just looking at this. And I just thought I couldn't hold this. But I guess not. I guess I could. Let's see how, though. So he checks. I'm sure I go this way. Oh, F3. Yeah, you want to get to the end of the board, huh? C4. I'm sure I, I'm sure I want to get behind it. Yeah. C3. Okay, so you just take it. That's the best move. What if he, yeah, what if he did this? And then that gives it up too. He can't really protect it actually. The pawn is just lost. Yeah. Yeah, what can you say? I don't mind losing a game like this, but I had a lot of fun playing, which is not something I can say about a couple of my recent games. Had a chance, had a chance and I didn't execute in the end game. More learning to do. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you back tomorrow.